Good morning folks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jairo and in today's episode, it's all about eating local food. Let's go. So first of all, this is the Malta Balashi, the typical malt that we would be drinking it with. And this one is the pasticci di keshi, the cheese pasticci. We're gonna get a good bite. Mm. Very good. So this is the croquette. Now this is a small one actually but usually we put some mustard on it mm. it is so good mm. so this one is the beef And it's very good, very good. This is probably one of my favorites, more than the cheese one. But the cheese is the top cup. The cheese, the ham and cheese, those are the two that are mostly eaten here on the island. So we are done with that one and the next one will be the lunch. Let's get to that one. So guys, we have arrived here at our place for the lunch and we're gonna go inside now it's it's to be honest that it's not a very fancy place but it is one of those very very few places that you could actually buy some really like local food here on the island and most locals know about it most tourists will not most visitors will not know about this place but let's check this one out Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this looks super good. <laughs> so, I ordered a concombre stoba. I put the translation somewhere down here. And with funchi and pambati. This is a big plate. So, first, the funchi. This is the typical funchi. It looks incredibly good and lately, uh, not lately, but they do eat it fried also. So when we do not eat it at midday, sometimes people save it for like the early evening and then they'll fry it and they'll put some cheese on top of it. So some places do sell it like that. This one is like the very typical. And this one is the pan mati. So this one is 
you could compare it to like a pancake. Some people compare it to a pancake. It does have like the same textures, you know, like, and um, yeah, it is eaten with the lunch together with the funchi and your meal. And I've even seen uh, this one even fried like lately. Uh, I didn't like it personally, but that's an option. So let's see what we have here. We have some pumpkin, some potato, some pieces of meat. I do believe it's pork. I do believe, uh, yeah, like spirits. And of course the concumber is in here somewhere. And um, yeah, I'm gonna dig in for this one. It looks really good. Incredibly good. I love the pumpkin, I love the potato, and the sauce with it. Mm. Salty. I like to go for the vegetables first. And this is the this is the concumber. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is the concumber. And it's not the typical concumber, it's like the local one. Let's try this one. Mm. Very, very tender. I mean, you want to eat local food? This is the place to come, no doubt about it. I think if mark wings was coming to aruba this is probably one of those places that he wants to come and try out now let's go for the pamati the way we actually eat it we dip it in the sauce a little bit and then we go for it mm. <laughs> oh yeah Oh, this is so good. Pieces of the concumber. Ah, so good. Mm. Now, of course, we'll go for a piece of the funchi, which is this one. If there is a hidden jam here in Aruba of food related, this is the place. Guys, as I am doing a little hike right now to burn some of the energy that I've already consumed, <laughs> I would like to ask you for if you are liking this video to give it a like and also consider subscribing to my channel. I do have like over 200 videos in my library so check them out after this one. Right now we are heading to or actually we are already at the district of Santa Cruz and here we will go for like a, you know like a small break and See if we can find anything like pastry related. Let's go. Cheese ball? Aha, uh -huh. so, on the canon. Uh -huh. So we are going to eat all of this here. 
This is the cheese ball. Okay, so this one is hot and salty. And this is the sushi, sushi, with tuna fish on top. But they also had it with chicken, if that's something for you. And this is the huevoyena, or the filled egg. Let's go for this one first. It is salty, and they do make it with, you know, like the, egg, the yellow part of the egg. And this is actually one of my favorites. Some people do not like it. So here we go. A little bit too salty, I thought. But definitely good. And now I'm gonna go for the sushi, susha. I confuse it with sushi, but that's not what it is. Mm. This one is good, also salty. This one is the cheese ball. And all of this is usually at parties. You can find them, so it's not just at the bakery. So oftentimes you go to, you know, a, a local party, a local family's party, you will find these. This is one of my favorites too. And then last but not least, we got the, what was it called again? Finchi? So it does seem to have a lot of cheese on top of it. And probably mozzarella cheese. That's what it looks like at least. And I think it has, this one has like, seems like a tuna fish also, and does seem like a small wrap. That's very common, I must say, but I have eaten it before. Hmm. Yeah, or tuna fish. <laughs> so this one, was the huchara. If you are looking for it, as I said, it is situated here in Santa Cruz. And if you're looking for like a small break in between your lunch and dinner, this might be the thing. If you're driving around the island, do a stop here and check them out. One of the best bakeries on the island and with um, like they offer so many things as you saw previously. Right now, the only thing really left is to go for our dinner. But before that, I'm gonna head, you know, like briefly uh, to the beach and check out the sunset for a bit. Nothing further for this section, let's go. So guys, right now we are at the West Deck, which is situated here in Oranjestad. And we're going to have dinner here. This will be the last meal for today. And I do hope that you have liked this video so far. And I'm pretty excited to show you this one as well. Uh, it's a favorite dish of mine and uh, they do an excellent job of uh, making it here. Anyway, we'll start out with some local beer. So this is the Blashi, the local, popular local beer that is made right here on the island. And the Blashi is a, like a, somewhat of a district in between, uh, say, the airport and uh, St. Nicholas. Like, uh, it would be like, it would be like uh, 10 minutes from the airport. So tonight I am with my father and we're having dinner here, but he likes his Heineken, so we're gonna do cheers! <laughs> so tonight for our dinner I'll be choosing the Aruban Keshiena which is shredded chicken, prunes, local spices and cashews wrapped with Dutch gouda cheese and served atop a fresh tomato, garlic and basil house. 
I'm gonna also have a side dish of a banana hasa, which is the fried plantain. And looking for a few more things. And since we did already have the pamati and the funchi at the Marilis Cafe, Cafe Marily, uh, we're not going to go for those. Oh, we might go for the Johnny cake. That we can do. So this one is the Kishina and this is the fried plantain with the Johnny cake and the Arubin potato salad. So I'm gonna dig in for the fried plantain first. Mm. Very good. Now the fried plantain, if you did not know, accompanies uh, all of the Arubin dishes mostly. So this is the potato salad. It's often eaten during Christmas time and also to the Johnny Cake. Now this one has a story behind it. I'm not very familiar to, and confident enough to tell about it, but maybe one day I'll, I'll find it out and tell you guys. So now for the main dish of the night. And it kind of looks like somewhat like a lasagna, but it doesn't have any pasta. It's just what you see here. It's just the cheese. And I just mentioned before like the ingredients, but you see like the chicken, uh, the vegetables, the prunes, and other things in it. So guys, we are finally down to our last one here at the Quesillo, which is one of the favorite dessert plans, you could call it. And certainly my favorite. So guys, I really, really hope that you liked this video and I hope that in the meantime, you have given it a like already and to subscribe to my channel, as I mentioned previously. Uh, I had a, a lot of fun making this one and let me know if such content is what you would like to see more of. So more food and food reviews, food related vlogs by my part. Nothing further. Thank you for watching. See you next week, guys. Bye bye. the Aruban potato salad usually accompanies also the like the meals here